Hi, I'm Carla Schaefer, Anti Speeds Designer, and today we are going to learn how to crochet a necklace. I'm going to be using an artistic wire in a 26 gauge, also you can use a 28 gauge. Um, color craft wires that come in colors are also really great to use for this necklace to change up the the color and depending on what beads you're using. I'm using a variety of beads today. We're going to need a total of 47. I'm using um, Swarovski crystal bicones. I'm using some check glass and I'm also going to use a sterling silver toggle clasp. You will need a pair of round nose pliers, a nipper tool, and you will need a letter I crochet hook. And the size on the crochet hook is very important because this, this does matter a great deal in the size of the loops that we're going to use to make this project. Also, something that I find helpful is using a mug to put the spool of wire in while I'm crocheting. It keeps the spool from rolling all over the table. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our wire and loosen it from the spool. I'm going to drop the spool into the mug. And the first thing I'm going to do is string 15 beads in a random order on this on the wire okay I've strung 15 beads on here and again it's a random order and, and to be honest with you you really don't need it to be in any kind of order so random is the best just pick them up without even looking at them I'm gonna go ahead and slide the beads down into the mug okay the first thing you're gonna do is take your hook lay it on top of the wire and just kind of give it a twist until we have a starting loop. Take the wire and pull it through. This is a simple chain stitch. And again, there's no, ran I mean it's all random. It doesn't have to be perfect and every loop need to be the same because in fact it makes a better design if they're not. If they're not too tight and some are loose and some are big, some are small, and you're going to do this 14 times before we pick up any beads. Okay, now we're ready to pick up a bead. We've, we've got our four, 14 chain stitches, blank chain stitches. What I've done is I've just brought some of the beads down out of the cup off onto the wire, and the, what we're going to do now is we're going to drop the bead. I'm going to use my crochet hook and pick up the wire. Crochet. And we're going to put a blank stitch in between each bead. So there's a bead, blank stitch, and another bead, and so on, until we get all 15 beads on this wire crocheted. And after we do the 15 beads, then we're going to do 14 more blank stitches. So it's 14 blank. 15 beads with a blank in between each one of them and then 14 again and we're going to make three strands like that okay once we have finished our crochet of our 15 beads what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and complete the other 14 stitches so I've already got one and if you accidentally get more than you need on this it's really very forgiving don't worry about it so we're just going to do 14 blank stitches toward the end and I'm going to show you how to end this and cut it off and then we'll braid them together. Okay, this is how we end it. You go ahead and you know, clip your wire with the nipper tool. Uh, allow yourself a little room here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're just going to pull it through. Just like that. And that ends. The next thing we're going to do is we're just, I'm just going to go through and kind of straighten the strands out a little bit and kind of push the beads in just so it makes them easier to work with when we go to braid them together. Like I said, it's very forgiving, nothing's wrong. If you've missed a stitch, you've got too much. However, we have three strands of 15 beads and 14 empty chain stitches on each end. Okay, 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the three ends and we're going to just twist the little wires together, the little loose ends together. I like just doing it with my finger because if you do it with the pliers it might tend to break it. So just give it a good twist. Like that. And then. Okay, again, all we're going to do is we're going to braid the three strands together. So we've got them twisted on the ends, and then we just kind of going to start doing a little braid. And try to keep them flat. So you're just kind of picking them up and laying them down. And be careful not to get them all tangled up. And just see how it's starting to take shape. And just occasionally get them loose. Just like braiding hair. As my mother would say, plait. Now you're going to start getting into where the beads are, and you just simply layer the beads as you braid, and they slot, kind of slot in together. And this is why I said it's totally random. Of course, if you do, and if you do have to do a pattern, you could do a pattern. Um, I don't know how much of it you'll see when you start braiding it. But another way is to do all one color of beads on one strand and another color beads on another strand or the same type of beads, vice versa, that kind of thing. Once you've figured this basic technique out, you'll be able to come up with your own ways of designing and coming up with things to do. Even this color combination was a little odd until I got it together. It really came out neat. And just continue to braid until we get to the other end. It starts to look a little messy, but it all comes together. Now I'm down to where I'm done with the beads. I'm going to chain. I'm going to braid all those empty chain stitches together. Now see I'm running out, I've got more chain on one end than, than the other and that's alright. So I'm just going to keep braiding it until I get up to here. And then you just kind of, that's why I said this is a very forgiving project, you just kind of squish it together here and we're going to twist these wires together. Now this is what we've got before we put the clasp on. I'll show you how it's turned out. Okay, we're ready to put the clasp on. I'm going to trim the wire just a little bit above where we twisted them so they're even. I'm going to take a pick two beads that I'm going to put on the end. So all I'm going to do is string this bead over the wires, bring it down, and take my round nose pliers. We're just going to make a little loop to put the clasp in. I'm going to take one half of the clasp, put it on there, and just wrap it. And then trim the wire. And we're going to do the same with the other end. And trim it, string on the bead, and if the beads you've used are not large enough to go over this twisted wire, you can always use a sterling silver large hole bead, um, anything that'll just kind of finish the end so it makes it look more finished. I'm going to put on the second part of the clasp. trim it. Now 
And one more thing about this is that you can kind of just kind of go through if you want to adjust it a little bit and you just kind of squish it, kind of bring it up, mash it together. And we have a finished necklace. Now your class works. There you go.